What's going on guys? Welcome back to American Truck Simulator and welcome back to Stories from the Road. This is my ATS Let's Play series. I try to upload this a couple times a week. Hope you guys are doing well today and uh, you'll take a look around and notice the game looks just a little bit different uh, than it usually does. That is because I am using the Frosty Winter Weather Mod version 2 by uh, Grimes and I gotta say he has done a great job with this mod. Looks really good. I just cannot wait to uh, kind of explore the map with this mod in. Probably going to leave it in for a little bit because I've messed around with it just a little bit. And man, it really, really looks good. But uh, of course, we are here in the Kenworth T660 today. Did a mod spotlight video on that yesterday. Link for that will be down in the video description as well as all the mods I'm using today. So be sure to check that out. And let's see, we got 35,000 pounds of frozen vegetables heading south down to Ehrenberg. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up and get to work. Should be a pretty good run for us. Check out our trailer brakes here real quick. They are in good working order, so we are good to go. Yeah, I've had a couple people ask uh, recently about the uh, mod spreadsheet. If you still have the link for that, that uh, spreadsheet is still up, but it has not been updated in quite some time. Uh, what I'm doing now is all the mods that I'm using in uh, a particular episode, you know, such as today, those mods will be linked down below. So everything you see today will be in the video description and I'm just going to post the links down there you know from now on moving forward. It just got to be a little bit uh, messy trying to keep the spreadsheet up to date and all that stuff. I think this is a little bit easier. Makes it a little bit easier on you guys too I think. But if uh, you have any questions about mods or anything like that uh, like you need a link or something uh, let me know and I'll see what I can do to help you out. A lot of stuff to go over today. You guys have probably noticed here over the last week or so there has been a greater focus on American Truck Sim content. And that is going to be the status quo moving forward. Now some of you guys probably know that I have been doing some LSPDFR content kind of here and there recently as well. That content's not going anywhere but I'm definitely not going to try to upload it three times a week. Might be like once a week, probably maybe, maybe two times a week. But uh, yeah, moving forward, it's going to be more focused on uh, ATS. I wish they would fix this. So I turn my turn signal off. Oh, wait, oh, oh. There we go. Good sign of Jake break. But uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed uh, more ATS content. No, I've certainly enjoyed making it. Especially now that uh, the G920 is in and installed. Been using it uh, for a little over a week now and I'm just loving it. Absolutely loving it. You know, it's basically an upgraded version of the G27. Uh, the software package is a lot better in my opinion. And then it basically has a uh, Xbox 360 controller uh, kind of built into it, which is kind of nice. Kind of allows me to do some more hands-free stuff. I 
and then of course got the SKRS back and installed so I'm able to shift again and uh, knock on wood it has been working uh, with no issues so that's a good thing Well, I had some uh, downtime while I was using the uh, Logitech Momo. I took the SKRS apart and uh, that little magnet that's on the inside that uh, seems to cause some issues for some folks. Cleaned up some stuff on that and then glued it down pretty well. Even put some Loctite on there. So hopefully that thing uh, stays in place. And oh yeah, we get the bypass on the scale. Nice. Never get this bypass on the scale. But uh, just take a look around, and the environment looks so, so cool now. Grimes has definitely done a good job with this uh, weather mod. Like I said, I'm probably going to leave this in for a little bit because it just looks so cool. And I'm not sure where you guys are at, but where I'm at, winter came just a little bit early this year. And we still got uh, about a week or so before winter's officially here, but, uh, you know, last weekend we had our first uh, big snowstorm of the year. Got around close to a foot, which is kind of crazy for this time of year. You know, we usually don't uh, start seeing some big snowfalls until, you know, early, mid-January. So, you know, we're about a month ahead of schedule. creep down this hill. Need no incidents. Now, one thing I've had to get used to with uh, the G920 is, you know, the pedals are exactly the same. I think I can beat him. Get in there. The pedals are exactly the same as they were on the G27. With the exception of, for whatever reason, Logitech put a rubber spacer inside of the spring on the brake pedal. So you do not get full travel on your brake pedal, which to me is just kind of an odd thing to do. Not really sure why they did that. So I've had to adjust some sensitivities and things like that to uh, get my brakes kind of where I want them. And uh, actually, it kind of feels a little bit more realistic. You know, I'm not stopping on a dime now, kind of like I was in the past. And oh my gosh, this looks so freaking cool. This is awesome looking. But uh, I've seen some videos on YouTube where people, you know, just take the pedals apart and take the spring out. I don't necessarily want to do that because I'm not really into voiding the warranty. Because uh, that definitely saved my butt uh, when the G27 went to Rip City. Because I got this wheel and the shifter at no cost. Because uh, the G27 was still under warranty. So, probably just going to leave it as is. And like I said, it kind of feels a little bit more realistic when I stop now. I'm not stopping on a dime. And, and this mod looks so good. Cruise cassette there. Cruise control. down just a little bit. There we go. Man, this looks so, so stinking cool. Man, just look at that. You kind of hear the wind howling. That, that's awesome. That's just all sorts of cool. I don't know if I'll leave this in for the entire winter, but uh, I think I'll definitely leave this mod in through the holidays. Seems kind of fitting. But yeah, that's kind of what's been going on with me. Been uh, 
Hope you guys have been enjoying uh, the mod spotlight videos. I've done a couple of those. That's not going to be like a regular thing, but uh, like I said, as you know, as long as I find a mod that's you know particularly interesting to me, it's usually going to be a truck or something like that. We'll kind of take a look and showcase that. Then I've uh, been doing more gameplay videos. Seems like you guys have been liking those. And then I uh, did a screenshot montage, which just kind of just kind of up and did that one the other day. Really didn't have any plans to do those before, but uh, oh god, railroad tracks don't do it. Okay. Seems like anytime I come up to tracks in this game, there's a train coming, but fortunately there was not one coming there. But uh, the screenshot montage thing's probably something I'll do like once a month. You know, just when I'm playing, not recording. I tend to take quite a few screenshots. So I think it'd be kind of neat to do a couple minute video just uh, show, showcasing some of the screenshots. Put a little music to them. But uh, it's definitely good to be back in ATS though. And you guys were thinking, what? You know, pretty much uh, here recently, the only time I've been playing, you know, up until like the last week, is, you know, when I'd sit down and record something. But uh, here lately, I've been playing a ton of ATS. I mean, a ton. You know, just getting used to the new wheel and everything. Making sure the SKRS is working, but uh, more than anything, just enjoying the rescale, which is now, as I'm sure all you guys know, is officially live. It's out of beta. So I'm really excited to see what they have in store next. You know, what state are we going to expand into next? Which I thought was... New Mexico. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. So if one of you guys can uh, refresh me on that down in the comment section, that'd be greatly appreciated. But I thought that's what it was. We were going to go a little bit east, uh, you know, southeast a little bit again. Which I'm ready for the Pacific Northwest, honestly. What is this crazy fool doing? They got places to go, passing on curves and all. Get down with your bad self. That was a little bit safer over the past, but uh, that first one, holy shnikes. I'm definitely, uh, someone had asked me uh, in the comment section on the, uh, yesterday's video if I'm liking the rescale. I'm absolutely loving the rescale. It was by far the best thing they could have done for this game. Because now you can just sit down and just drive. I mean, you can just flat out just drive. I know I talked about it a little bit uh, a couple weeks back when the beta first went live, but... You can get out and just drive like never before. I mean, instead of sitting down, making a couple runs and taking a half an hour, or, you know, 45 minutes, whatever, to, you know, do those runs. Now, if you go from, you know, to the farthest northern point on the map to the farthest southern point, you're taking a good hour, hour and a half, which is awesome. That's just one trip. And, you know, now you get to, you know, go on long stretches like this where you're not going across any towns, intersections, anything like that. You know, you're not having to get on the interstate, get off the interstate, all that stuff. You can just get on a stretch of road and just drive 15, 20 minutes at a time, which is awesome. You know, I've mentioned it several times, but it just kind of takes me back to the old Holland days driving on uh, 
Ivan, aka Hard Truck is the best uh, Cali map. So I'm absolutely loving it, and I cannot wait to see what they have in store for us next. I mean, can you guys imagine what it's going to be like once we get all, you know, lower 48 states? What is up with the AI today? Pass on curves? That's nuts. Train, no train, no train, no train, no whammies, no whammies, and okay, we're good. Ely, Nevada. See, it used to be a pretty quick trip from uh, Elko to Ely. That took us, what, a good 15 minutes? So, I just, uh, it's awesome. I think they've definitely uh, kind of reinvigorated their community, which is always a good thing. here for a second. This looks so good. And I'm not sure why the game kind of looks dim from time to time when I'm in the exterior view. I think it has something to do with uh, the inspector profile settings. I'm just blown away by this mod though. This weather mod, it is looking cool. Oh, speed limit's going 33 here, so I guess I should probably uh, hold off on getting all wound up there. Whoopsie. Like right through here looks bloody amazing. But I can honestly say this is right now the most fun and most enjoyment I've had out of this game in the almost entire year that it's been out, you know, since the rescale has come out. So, really excited about uh, what the future holds for this game. Hoping, I'm hoping, hoping, and I know you guys are too, that uh, we get some kind of news here soon on uh, some more trucks, you know, in ATS. You know, we recently got the Peterbilt 389, but we all kind of knew for a while that that was coming because that's something that's been teased, you know, pretty much since the game came out. But, uh, you know, we just have the four, you know, stock trucks, the 579, the 389, the 680 and the W9. So 
I'm just kind of interested to see how the licensing situation is going uh, for SES. It's something they've not talked about in quite a while. So I'm kind of thinking that uh, is probably, I'm ho like I said, I'm hoping, but I would think that would be one of the next things that uh, we hear about in their blog. What are you doing? Wow. Just wow. Almost saw a head-on collision. That is probably the closest I've seen to a head-on collision in this game. That's crazy. I just love how you can just get in this game now and just kind of get lost in it for a little bit. Throw on some tunes and just kind of chill out and relax. And Now one thing I'm uh, kind of keeping an eye on is hopefully it gets updated here pretty soon and that's the multiplayer. That'll be a lot of fun playing the multiplayer on the rescale. Imagine here uh, pretty soon that should be updated. So I will definitely get some multiplayer uh, content up here soon. Leaving Piochi. Pioch. Pioch. looking around checking out all the snow That's what I was talking about, how it looks kind of dim. Thanks, they hit the, uh, Wrong key there. That one sounds pretty cool. I don't know if that's part of the mod or not, but it definitely goes along with uh, the scenery. That's for sure.
It's kind of hard to believe it's only a couple weeks, we're less than two weeks away from Christmas. to use my Jake break in the city limit. Be a little bit more realistic that way. Didn't quite catch the name, but it looked like it was a new town or something. check the map. That looks like we're going to be on this stretch of road till we hit Vegas. And it turns into four lane after Vegas, at least for a little bit, so. I see that road come to a team like, oh crap, am I supposed to turn there? Then I looked down at the HUD and like, okay, good, good. Scurred me a little bit right there, I'm not gonna lie. Scurred me just a little bit. One thing I really like about this uh, weather mod, though, is the HDR is not completely overpowered. That's why I, you know, either run a weather mod that has a built-in uh, HDR mod or, you know, a separate, you know, HDR mod is kind of an add-on. You know, this one is uh, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. I have to double check. I might have turned off the fatigue simulation when I was doing the uh, mod spotlight video yesterday. If so, I'll definitely get that turn back on uh, for the next episode. The scenery though is just breathtaking. This is pretty awesome. I'm getting passed by everyone today. Holy shnikes.
definitely missed uh, being able to shift and all that good stuff, though. So how about you guys? You guys ready for the holidays yet? Like I said, I can't believe you know Christmas is just uh, less than two weeks away. It's insane. Definitely looking uh, looking forward to spending some time with the family. And just kind of relax and taking it easy. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. Boy, the sun's coming up over the city there, over the mountains. That's about 10 different kinds of awesome right there. Las Vegas. No. Should probably turn that off. Should probably turn that off. Take a look here in a second what uh, the lights look like with this mod. Looks good. Looks good. for it. Didn't make it. I haven't checked to see if uh, the longer yellow light mod has been updated yet out on the Steam Workshop. So I don't think I have it active currently. Yeah, the more I use the brake pedal on this, the more I'm liking the fact that, uh, Spacers in the spring. I like how I can just kind of come to a kind of a rolling stop now instead of, you know, coming to like a dead stop or whatever. And that's with my braking sensitivity cranked almost all the way up in game. And uh, in the Logitech software, I think I have it set to 90. 90 or 100% sensitivity on the brake pedal. So definitely liking that. Whoops. Definitely liking the fact that the SKRS is behaving properly now. It makes shifting so much more enjoyable. Yeah, I probably could have stopped there, but dang on it. I think I got a little bit spoiled by uh, the longer yellow light mod for sure. 
Now that was a uh, trailer brake and the regular brake. Kind of using both of those at the same time. Too bad getting through Vegas. You know one thing, it definitely makes for some nice sunsets. I think this is the first time I've headed this way uh, since the rescale, so it's going to be interesting to uh, kind of climb the hills here. Not extremely heavy, only 35,000 pounds on, but uh, should be fun. And that's another reason why I really want to see uh, the Pacific Northwest in game is kind of go through the mountains and the hills and everything up north. That'll be kind of fun. So far, this thing's pulled like a bear. Come on up on Arizona. Oh, I guess I do uh, still have it turned on. Right on. Right on. Man, that, that just looks amazing. I know I've probably said it about a hundred times, but man, this weather mod is stinking awesome. And I'm doing like almost 85. Which is not awesome. Here, start to see brake lights and turn signals and all sorts of crazy stuff. Now I can definitely start to fill the hills a little bit, which is very cool. So I'm not sure how far we are from the next. That looks like Kingman. I will try to hit Kingman. Maybe not. See, so we're about 40 minutes. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for supporting. Ooh. It is greatly appreciated. If you like today's video, just get a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch. Helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But, guys, I'm going to cut on out of here, find a place to stop and get some rest, and we will pick it up with part two of our trip down to uh, Ehrenberg. So guys, until the next video, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you.